head coach Pat Cachardo was lucky enough to not have to worry about a starting quarterback while his son AJ was in school. Now AJ is off with the Toledo Rockets and a Scott High School transfer is taking the reins. Here's what you need to know about the Springfield Blue Devils. Darnell Thomas uh, came in uh, in, in mid-January and uh, he's done a phenomenal job of just buying into the program. Uh, really does a good job in the weight room, um, does a good job as a team leader. And that's what you gotta ask for when you have a kid move into your district, especially at the quarterback position where you have so much rich tradition at quarterback and the quarterbacks have been, you know, league leaders over the last six years and things like that, that, you know, it, it, it's, it's a big responsibility to come here and, and then, um, and play quarterback at this school. It's an honor, you know, to play for Coach Pat, you know. It, it, it was kind of difficult though at times. It, it'd be difficult at times, you know, learning the playbook, learning the coaches and stuff, you know. So, but I've just just soak it in all at once, you know what I'm saying, and just learn. He's done everything I've asked him to do. He's worked his tail off. Um, I'm on him a lot because you know that that quarterback makes our offense run, and um, I'm really proud of the effort that he's put in. I'm proud of his dedication. Um, you know, I couldn't ask for more up to this point, and um, you know. Uh, it's all going to come down to what do you do on Friday night now, and and he's in he, he's in the right direction. He's doing a lot of great things, and um, I'm looking forward to what what happens next. I just you know what I'm saying take it in and practice hard every practice, you know, and tell my line and my boys that we got to work hard, you know, because Central going to be coming, and I know that you feel me, but we coming too. Show us up. Our league is outstanding. Um, you know, I'm always impressed with what. Uh, Perrysburg does. I'm always impressed with what Anthony Wayne does, and I'm always impressed with what Napoleon does, and and along with the Sylvania schools. And and you know, there, there's a lot of good teams that that are gonna you know compete for the championship game. We just ask our goals are to be in the championship game at the end of the season and make the playoffs, and that's what we look to do. And um, you know, year in and year out, and and we've been there, you know. Uh, for the last five years or whatever it's been with, with those goals. So uh, won a couple and, and uh, you know, we've had some fun. So we got to keep it going and, and continue that those goals. So I've been saying we underdogs for real, but I've been telling my team and a couple other captains on the team and making sure we stay and ignore it and make sure we just keep everything pushing in practice and showing when it comes to game time. It's a good thing because it make us more hungry and make us practice hard, work hard in the weight room. Coaches stay on our back, and everybody just been pushing hard to make sure we beat people in week one, two, and continue. I like being an underdog. You know, no one, no one expects anything from me, so I can really prove myself and impress people. We're definitely underrated. People don't expect us to be good. They're actually hoping we're bad, but that just makes us work harder. We're just gonna keep on grinding. We don't care what people think. We're gonna do what we always do. What we bring to the table is, you know, we do bring a physical, a physicality to our, our offense and defense, but we do have team speed that, that I think um, gives us a little bit of an edge because, uh, you know, all the way around the horn, our kids can fly, and, it, and it's fun coaching kids like that. You know, we may be a little bit undersized compared to, you know, some of the other schools, but team speed equalizes that out a little bit for us, and, and we like to utilize that. The coach has been pushing us. Everybody's been working hard. The offensive line been coming together. Defense, the defense is good. I think we're going to have a big year. Our goals are always the same. You know, we want to be in the championship game at the end of the season. You know, if we have a shot to win the whole thing, you know, that's where we want to be. And uh, like I said, we've been there many times before and um, and then be able to get into the state playoffs. So those are successful seasons for us. We want to, you know, we want a chance to win the big the, the title at the end and get in the playoffs and see what see what happens from there.